I'm Leslie Kuhn and I live out at Bednesty Lake, which is just west of Prince George. Beautiful spot on earth. I used to be an acrylic painter, but now I'm an oil painter. The thing that I really love about painting is how it makes me feel. I get happy when I paint. The reason I got into painting is was because we were redoing our, our master bedroom in the old house and I needed a piece for above the bed and I'm fairly cheap. So I looked at them and thought I could do that. And so I bought a big canvas and I bought some acrylic paints and then I watched some YouTubes and I painted a painting and then I found out that I really loved it. The things that I like to paint the most are, um, I like landscapes and I like the play of light and shadow within the landscape. And I would really like to become a portrait painter, but I need more skills. So um, I'm working on that, but I like to paint like the grandkids or I love to paint water and I love to paint pine trees cause they're dark and light. So they're always fun to paint. How I approach a painting is if we're out and about, I always have my phone with me and then I'm snapping pictures. And yes, I really do have 33,000 pictures on, on my phone. And then what I've been learning, if I want a successful painting, is to do a drawing of it first. So I'll do like a 10 by 15 centimeter drawing and get the values right. And then I know if it's right or wrong or where I need to move something and then I'll transfer it to the canvas, a toned canvas. And I like to paint with bright colors underneath um, and have them kind of show through. And then I start with the darks and then I work to the lights and, and I paint in my kitchen as you can see. And I have about 20 feet that I can pull my easel out and have a look at it from the back room, the length of the room. and see what's missing, what's right, what's wrong. So when I'm finishing my paintings, I leave them dry. And my process is, is I don't sign them until I'm sure, sure that they're absolutely, completely, totally, I'm not gonna change anything else on them, done. And then I'll leave that dry and then I will usually varnish them with Gamsol. Yeah, and then I like to frame them. I have my husband enlisted in framing now, so he's going to be helping me get the framing done, so, or I will go and find vintage frames. And I really like using vintage frames because it just makes them a little different than the basic black floater frame. So in the show, you'll see some of them have these beautiful vintage frames that I've acquired or friends have given me. Um, and I, I love framing them in those. I have a show coming up at Studio 2880 and it's called Benesti because that's where I live. So all the pieces within that show are from Benesti. There's one from Berman Lake which is kind of down the creek from Benesti. They're all within walking distance from my house and they're just a reflection of the beauty around us. We get to live in one of the most beautiful places on earth and I think we underestimate it most of the time. So I just I get excited to see that and I get excited when I can put it down and have a successful painting and uh, reflect where I live. So Bed Nasty Lake is a magical place. Today with Christina out here, the lake is singing for her and I hope she got the sound and if you've never heard it, it sounds kind of like a didgeridoo. communities out here. We're a fairly tight-knit community. There's about 12 or 14 of us that are here full-time and then there's more people that uh, have an influx in the summer. Now we've got the Highway 16 eatery that's open so we've got a local restaurant and I've got some pieces over there and we get to do all sorts of fun things. We're active out here. We cross-country ski. We play snow golf, we curl, we skate, uh, we go snowshoeing, we walk lots, and we have a really fabulous, fabulous community. 
Uh, what I have coming up in my future is in June, I am going out to the North Pacific Cannery. I have been chosen as the candidate for the short-term residency for the Prince Rupert Community Arts. So I'm super excited about seven days of just painting my brains out at the ocean. So that will be fabulous. And I get to do a workshop out there. So I've got that planning with Rhoda and yeah, it should be a lot of fun. So the workshop is limited to six to 10 people. So you would have to contact the Prince Rupert Community Arts Centre and find out how to do that. So you could take the train, you could do it on the way to Haida Gwaii, you could just take a trip. We've got the um, Federation of Canadian Artists are having a show in Terrace that week. So I'll be able to go to the opening in Terrace at their art gallery. So that will be exciting too. The Bed Nasty show is going to be at Studio 2880, April 3rd from 5 to 7. And I get to do an artist's talk at 5.30. Christina has promised that there's going to be snacks. So come for the snacks. And I would love to be able to share what I do with you. I would just be really happy if you could feel the excitement that I feel when I get to paint what we see around us here in Prince George. So please come on out. Thank you.